Hello, we're back in Splatoon 3 and the ocean is full of crystals. Someone's gonna make a the entire history of Splatoon, I guess, video at some point. Probably, maybe. I don't know. I'm not gonna get over the crystals thing. Let's learn about angle shooting. We'll use the angle shooter to navigate through a series of obstacles and reach the goal. That describes most of the levels in this game. I w That's why the crystals are freaking everywhere on the decals and whatnot. Use the angle shooter, it says. Probably an awkward weapon to get used to. So basically, I just need to pretend I have a sniper that can also ricochet. I wonder if any of these, uh... I wonder if any of these, like, story mode missions, such as this one... ...are, uh, indicators of future kits for the weapons? Like, is the Neo sploosh or whatever, going to have the angle shooter, for example? Also, what is the range of this thing? Jeez. Okay, it's not, like... Completely absurd. It can peek around the corner, though, pretty good. So I gotta get closer is all. So good. I blame Callie for this strategy. She said she just does this instead of like trying to get around the shields responsibly. I can agree with that. What are we looking at here? That's a good question. have a good idea of where to begin here. Okay. What does that accomplish? I should paint this entire area so I can swim around it. That seems pretty vital.
Well, don't know what angle it wants for me there yet. What do you want from me? I don't know how to do math. Are you kidding? Okay, I did math. Uh... I don't know what you're asking for me here either, honestly. I guess I have to swim up there? Where's the opening? I don't understand this one. I would consider that artistry at work, Kelly. But thank you. Oh boy, what do we got here? Ah. I see. Sort of. Oh, the, the trails left by this are enough to detonate the fish. That's convenient. I did it. I learned about angles. Also, I don't know what that object is still. Oh. I didn't notice them that time. I guess you could say that I learned to reflect, but I don't really feel like I, uh... grasped the concept too particularly well. Not really. That's fine. All right, uh... Moving on. Grab all power eggs within the time limit. I'll try my best. Ink brush, huh? Didn't I say I wouldn't use this because of the mashing would be too much? I'm doing it anyway. Oh, it's a Pac-Man. It's literally a Pac-Man. Oh, right, you can ride on Flutter. Ah, oh, ba 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 ba. Fine. Oh god, where's the three? One. Two, three, I guess. All right, 
I'll take it. I didn't... I, I may have learned how to reflect, but I didn't learn how to count. I didn't actually learn how to reflect, but I'll take it. All oh, right, the fog of war level. Ah, uh, right, my eyes. This mission will taste your innate sense of direction. I don't know why I said taste like that. Navigate through the dense fog to reach your goal. This hurts my eyes more, like, like with the brightness more than with the poor visibility. That was an aqua sniper. Everything's turned around. That's kind of funny. Hey, this enemy type literally hasn't been in the game until right now. The the bomb one? That's kind of funny. And there's not even a comment on them. Like, I don't think they've been here, right? Right? Probably? Buy small fry, sorry about that. Also, the triple ink strike hasn't been... Also, they said something about it being totally soaked and how the Octarians don't miss anything. I am still an Octoling, which I believe is an Octarian in a sense, though I guess they're probably referring to the Octarian military. Well, Marie said something was weird, but I'm not reading, apparently. I'm just going. I don't want to stay in the fog more than I have to stay in the fog. Except for the part where I stayed in it to clear the level when I didn't technically need to clear the level. That's fine. There's probably an incentive to clear every level somewhere. The upside to enemy backsides. Introducing the newest uh, weapon in Splatoon, the Ink Knife. Just become the spy. In this mission, you must use skill and cunning to aim at enemies from behind to reach the goal. Okay, you mean make them turn around by looking at small fry and then winning for free? Got it. I understand. Or you mean it's an octo stamp level? That's also fine. Oh yeah, they are also distracted by bombs. That's technically true. Small fry is, like, way better, though. I 
I'm surprised they haven't told me about the squid search this entire game. I mean, the squid roll. I think. I think. Problem at all. Too easy piece of cake, you know. Whatever whatever you say in this in this instance. For a brief second I thought that was like a model train, but no, it's a part of some sort of thing that I don't know what it is. The physics on my backpack activated briefly for a moment there. And then remembered what they were supposed to be doing. Don't you hate it when physics remember how to work? Trouble around every corner! Suppress enemy fire and reach the goal. In this mission, you will learn how to manage paranoia. Reach the goal while being mindful of hidden enemies. You know what? I'm going to keep using the hero gear. A while ago, I said something about not using it constantly for the sake of variety. But I think it's kind of fun to blitz through the levels. There's a Twintical Octo Trooper. They're way tougher than regular ones. Marie, this is World 5 out of allegedly 6, but probably like 7 or 8 depending on what you count a final sequence as. Okay, so I wasted a shot. That's fine. Way ahead of you on that one. Small fry is so helpful. I need to use the, the roll more often. But I don't really know the best ways to utilize it. It'd be funny if like the final boss tutorialed me on how to roll. Something about the hero shot and small fry combo just makes me want to, like, rush forward in a way. Uh, what's this about? Okay. I think this is also new, is the ones with the jets. I don't... Maybe this is just expecting you to have played the previous story modes? Probably not, though, because they're teaching you so much. I don't know. I guess they don't need to explain every enemy, either. A lot 
lot of them are like slight variants on other enemies, so they don't need to like elaborately discuss all of them, maybe? I don't know, just interesting. Not really a criticism, just... In I'm just interested in why they did it like this. One way ride through Target Town. What is it gonna tell me to use for Target Town? What kind of target situation are we talking about? The kind where you want a bow. The mission will test your hand-eye rail coordination. Okay, this, this again. I'll try a bow, why not? So, what you're saying is if I don't see any of the targets, I don't have to hit any of them, right? I missed one. <laughs> I gotta remember the explosive part. Nice and super nice. Oh, I oh, didn't even realize there was a crate there. <laughs> That's the most shouting and screaming I will get at this game is when I accidentally run my face into a wall because I didn't see it. Fair enough. All right, gotta remember to watch in front of me as well as for target. I accidentally fired somehow. No checkpoints either, because this is a continuous segment. Ah, shit. <laughs> I mean, wait. I, I won somehow? Okay, it's fine. Uh, no, not again! I was too busy being confused by how I wasn't dead to live. Okay. So this is the level in the game that has killed me the most times so far, I think. Which is funny. I think this is the first one to feel more like Octo Expansion levels of... Difficulty? I hesitate. It might just be my particular uh, eccentricities and quirks, or whatever you want to say, leading to this. Wow, I missed the onion rings too. Okay, I definitely missed one that time. Agent 3, no! Am I gonna actually game over? Don't give up when the going gets tough. The tough keep on grinding. That'd be funny if I missed that jump and died right there. I need to remember also that you don't need to do a full charge to get the detonation. I don't know if that's helpful. The full charge, I think, goes farther, though. There we go. Alright, now this time there's a grate. 
I did it. I overcame the most difficult obstacle of them all. Uh oh. Okay, there's another grate. I don't know if I would say I'm really good at this. Surprised that attempt at a vertical shot did not destroy me. There's another great. I have to say it out loud so I know. Well, I hope that was all of them. Well, crap. Farewell. First time I've actually lost all of my lives. Was there a checkpoint? There wasn't a checkpoint. You lied. You have, you have lied to me. Well, that's the first time I've seen that screen. Do you go faster along these rails when you're swimming? I actually don't know. Probably not. I don't care about that. That was close. I could have sworn I hit that. I hit, I. But I, why do I have a bomb, actually? Am I supposed to throw a bomb at the tower? Huh. I didn't even notice that I had a bomb. Because, I mean, I didn't think that would be the object of this level. You know? Try see if I can pick a different weapon, maybe. <laughs> I do not think the stringer is the right jo Okay, yeah, that's listed as the hardest one. The most difficult one because of the reward. I'm gonna... You, you know... 
No, no, no stringer for this, thank you. I see what you're going for with the stringer. But also, no. No, thank you. That was almost scary, though. I think the blaster honestly would have been better, maybe. to learn how to aim eventually. Are you for real? Are you for serious? Are you seriously for real? Let's try the blast. <laughs> well, are right, for you serious real? Why do you give me a bomb? Don't do that. Blaster is definitely the easier one, right? Yeesh. Definitely feels less stressful, at least. At least the music's cool, and the setting is cool, and I like Splatoon. Nice water in this game, right? Yeah, this is definitely Blaster. Glad I don't have to do every weapon on every level then. Because this is a... You already got them all? I can't believe what I'm seeing. Yeah, okay, fine. There's special dialogue for doing that good instead of doing that barely. I guess the a trick with a blaster or like A potential difficulty with the blaster is probably the ink consumption rate, right? Please! Gah! Are you ready for this to be the entire video? It's not, because I did other things before it, but you know what I mean. I wonder if anyone else had as much trouble with this level as I am. Everyone's got to have one level that causes them a significant amount of problems, right? That's just how video games work. 
I will learn to aim and I will I will uh learn to aim. That's really all there is to it, I guess. I'll learn to aim a blaster at stationary targets while moving. Which might not be the most applicable skill. But like, you know. I don't know. Aiming only gets more difficult, like, the more you fail at it. Because stress, you know, and stuff like that. I wonder if the power eggs we get are, like, saved, and do they make up for the loss? Probably, depending on how far we get. Hey, that time it worked out. Oh no. <laughs> that was a lot. Great work out there, Agent 3. Yeah, it sure was, Marie. <laughs> Ugh. I don't want to ever go back to Target Town. Target Town is a bad vacation spot. Well, I mean, okay, it's a fun... Shooting challenges are fun, but that was like... I, I like checkpoints to exist as one thing sometimes. Uh, and that's everything here. So I guess next time we go to Site 6, huh? You know, I guess I can just go to a closer one. So... Site 6 out of what? 6, allegedly. Next time. Oh, wait. No, we have to read. We didn't read, like, any of this. Spurred by these impulses and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with land-dwelling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage capabilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. Of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon they found the tunnels that humans had used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh, Fledgling beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. And there's some squid and octopi. Octopuses waddling around. I think octopi is like not really the plural, right? That's like a false assumption. Anyway, next time we go to stage six, I guess. Like, stage? Uh, site six. six the, the sixth one. It's through that pipe there.